Hi, and welcome to another first grade flip classroom video. Tonight's video is going to be on related subtraction facts. In class, we've been talking about subtraction. Now we are going to talk about related facts in subtraction, just like we did in addition. When we talk about the word related, a lot of times you may think of your family and your family members. You are related to your family members. In math, related means something a little bit different. In math, when we say that facts are related, it means that they use the same numbers. Let's take a look at, how, at related subtraction facts. In class, we've been using part-part-whole maths and various tools to help us practice subtracting. We've learned that in subtracting, you start with a whole number, and that number can be broken into parts by taking away or separating two parts. If I look at this part-part-whole mat, I see that my whole is 5. That is what I'm going to start with for subtraction. If I break off one of the parts, I have another part left over. So I took my whole and I broke it into two parts. My two parts were 2 and 3, showing me that the number 5 can be broken up into 2 and 3. The numbers 5, 2, and 3 are related. I can use them to help me write subtraction and addition sentences. Let's take a look at the subtraction sentence I could write using this part part whole mat. I started with 5 as my whole number, so that would be at the beginning of my subtraction sentence. I took away 2, that was the first part, so I would, sub I would minus 2. The other part is 3 and that would be my difference or the answer I get in subtraction. Now I could do that problem a different way. Let's start again. I could have my 5 up in my hole. This time instead of breaking off the blue part, this time I could break off the red part. And my other part left over would be my difference. So this time my subtraction sentence would look different. I would still start with 5 as my whole, but this time I took away 3 and my difference was 2. This would be the related uh, subtraction fact for that part part whole mat. So there you see at the bottom of your screen both of the subtraction sentences that I could write using this part part whole mat and using those numbers 5, 3, and 2. These facts are related. They are related because they use the same numbers in their facts. Let's try another one. On this part part whole mat, again you see the cubes up in the hole. When we are subtracting, I always start with my big number in the whole spot. This time, my big number is 7. As I know in subtraction, I always start by taking away one of the parts. I'm going to take away the blue part. If I start with 7 and I take away 3, that leaves my other part, the difference, would be 4. To show that in a subtraction sentence, I would write 7, I, would, I always start with my whole, minus 3, because that's the part that I broke off, and my answer, the difference, would be 4, because that was the part that was remaining. Let's try to write another subtraction fact from that same whole number. This time I'm going to start by breaking off the red cubes. I would start with 7, I took 4 away, that was my first part. The difference would be the next part. I want you to think for a second how I could write a subtraction sentence that represents this part part whole mat. What would the related fact be?
If you said 7 minus 4 equals 3, then you are correct. I sh these two facts at the bottom of your screen are related subtraction facts. Notice that both of these facts start with 7. That's, I cannot change that number. The whole number always has to come first because that is the biggest number. And you know from what we've learned in class, you always have to start with the biggest number. I am just going to change the parts to make the related subtraction facts. So 7 minus 3 equals 4, and 7 minus 4 equals 3 are related subtraction facts. I made both of those facts using that same mat and starting with the same whole number. Let's try one more. Take a look at this part part whole mat. You see that I started with 9 as my whole. I have 5 as one of my parts and 4 as the other part. I wrote the subtraction sentence for this part part whole mat. 9 minus 5 equals 4. I'd like you to write the other subtraction fact for this part part whole mat, the related fact, on your homework sheet. So this, so on your paper, you need to write the related fact. I wrote 9 minus 5 equals 4. What is another subtraction sentence I could write for this part part whole mat? Remember, I always have to start my subtraction sentence with the whole. Good luck!